Welcome back to the Flat Thunder Channel. Today, it's snowing outside. Just turned November 1st and we already have snow. Or at least there's snow flurries flying around in there and it's uh, really windy. So we're gonna pick on a project that we can work on inside today. It's supposed to be in the 70s next week, or the end of next week anyways. So we're looking at the uh, lathe today. We have the girling, 70 master cylinder that was on the uh, Massey Ferguson MF30 tractor. We were originally going to try to uh, hone this bore out but it was really damaged and pitted really bad and the piston was stuck in it. Uh, you might see that in one of the other videos uh, removing that from this uh, master cylinder, the piston. So what we're going to do with this unit uh, is use it as a demonstration project. We have the master cylinder set up in the mill. On this side we supported it with a toe clamp inside the bore. We want to try to machine this whole top half off. Uh, didn't really get overly excited with it. Uh, positioned it halfway in the middle. Uh, clamped it to this clamp set up here where we have the support. And whatever this height ended up to be, I made the other side and the vise the same height by using our uh, dial indicator. So we zeroed it. on this end and tried to make the other end as far as we can get at least uh, on the flat surface try to get that end to be zero as well and I think we're within a couple thousand within a couple thousandths I believe uh, from here to here all I was really looking for is a flat surface that's not completely crooked uh, when we cut it through. Uh, again, this is just for demonstration. It's nothing overly critical. It'd just be nice if it was a nice clean cut that we can do in one setup. Okay, I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for this guy right here. But this is my chip enclosure, homemade, straight out of a delivery box. Here we go, let's fire it up.
We machined the bore out so she's nice. No more pits. And milled her in half. You can see all the ports. This is the feed. That's the pressure line. Now if we can find all the uh, pieces and deburr this, we'll uh, put it all together and show you how it actually functions when you push the pedal. So here's our master cylinder after we refinished the bore and cut the whole unit in half. Here's the little plunger and seal that goes in the end. This forms the check. And this is the piston with the seal. Inside the bore, these are allowed to move independently of each other. So, this little guy sits in the bottom of the bore, and when you depress the pedal, this rubber seal forms a seal on the feed line and the plunger can freely move independently of this little check and it'll continue to move forward forcing fluid out the pressure line because this side's sealed. The check valve shaft is damaged. It was broken during disassembly. So when the piston moves backwards, it'll create a vacuum and it will encourage this, not the plastic piece, but it will encourage this check and rubber seal to move backwards, allowing more fluid in from the supply line. And just looking at this after cutting it in two, I'm rather happy with the, the finish here and the bore. It uh, couldn't be used as is, but if we were to take a nice finish cut on that and uh, hone that, I think we could probably uh, rebuild this. Just wasn't worth it for the uh, expense of the rebuild kit. That's the inside of a master cylinder. This particular master cylinder only has a single pressure line. The master cylinder that, that you typically find on an automobile will have two uh, pressure lines coming off of it. They usually separate the front brakes from the rear brakes. But the basic method of how it works will be similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave all your questions and comments in the section below. I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. We are by no means an expert here at the Flat Thunder channel, but uh, we give it the best go that we can with the tools that we have. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You never know what we're going to get into next. Uh, we're always working on something, whether it's machining, tractors, cars, trucks, anything that uh, needs fixed, we're probably going to work on it. Thanks for watching, everybody.